Welcome to another Ayehu tutorial. Today, we'll be talking about integrating Ayehu iShare with Intel Security McAfee SIM. Ayehu iShare extends McAfee SIM capabilities. From just getting an alert, to running an automatic, fast, and repeatable incident response cycle, all while keeping you in full control and free of false positives. The bi-directional integration with McAfee SIM lets you trigger workflows based on McAfee SIM alerts using emails, SMS, phone calls, or IM. Close the loop between automation and security personnel to control task execution anytime, anywhere. Let's see how it works in less than 10 minutes. We'll start by configuring the iShare integration. The first step is to define a device. Open iShare Studio and go to Incident Management, Devices. We'll define a new module. I've already predefined it, so we'll review my configuration. Enter the device name, description, and IP address of the device on which the McAfee ESM is installed. Usually, the name and the IP address will both be the host IP address. For now, we can ignore the rest of the configuration items. Press OK. Now, let's set up and configure the iShare integration under iShare Studio, Configuration, Modules. We'll define a new module. Select McAfee ESM. Enter the module name, description, and select the device on which the module is installed. Usually, it'll be localhost, as we have it here. Next, hit Configure to define module settings. Select the device on which the McAfee SIM is installed. The device should be previously defined under Incident Management Devices. Enter username and password. The user, of course, should be a member of the McAfee SIM's predefined admin list. Now, press Test Connection to establish the connection with your McAfee SIM and make sure it's all set up correctly. There we go. Press the Filter Settings button to define selective alerts, which will be pulled by iShare from McAfee SIM. Here, in our case, we won't use any filtering. Use the Mapping button if you'd like to change the mapping between the McAfee SIM properties to iShare's built-in variables. Now, finally, save the new module settings and make sure it's up. Now let's switch to the McAfee ESM console in which you can view your current open alerts. As you can see right now, we have no open alarms. So now it's time to build a simple workflow that'll handle alarms coming in from McAfee ESM. We're gonna go back to the studio to create a new workflow. But before doing that, let's jump to the iShare dashboard to check for open incidents. As you can see, there are currently none. We'll continue with our flow. We'll start with parsing the information we got from McAfee, and I'll explain why later. For now, we simply need to get a substring of information, everything within those parentheses there. And we'll call it event. Then we'll ask the McAfee SIM to provide the events with the event ID we got. Remember, we got that in the last action. We're going to ask for all the events from the last 10 minutes with a matching ID. And we'll want the default information, as you can see it's already predefined, and we can choose other information relevant to us. Now we only want to get some parts of the information. Here, for instance, only the source IP. We'll call this activity source IP.
Now, let's create a ticket in ServiceNow. The category will be Network. Let's change it to Security. For priority, we'll use critical. And the short description will be McAfee Alert. Let's add a description to this ticket. And let's insert the IP. The source IP from the event was matched in McAfee Alert, and the alert information we got from the module. Now let's close McAfee Alert. Remember, we now have an open ticket. We'll save it as McAfee SIM ServiceNow Ticket Integration. Now we want to make sure that this flow will run when McAfee creates an alarm. For that, we'll need an action rule. So let's create an action rule. We'll go to Open Studio, Action Rules, New. First, we'll give the action rule a name. Let's call it McAfee Alert. And we'll create a new condition called McAfee, where the source equals McAfee Sim. That's our module name from before. Now press Add and OK. Then we need to choose our workflow name, McAfee Sim, ServiceNow Ticket Integration. And that's it. Press OK, and we're ready to go. Let's hop over to McAfee ESM console, and we'll see that alarm. While we wait for the alarm to show up, let's jump to ServiceNow to see all the open tickets. As you can see, we don't have any open incidents here. If we go back to McAfee, we'll see that we do have an alarm. Let's review it. Let's see what iShare is seeing. We can see in the dashboard that we have a new incident, and you can see the event name with the ID inside those parentheses. Let's take a look at what iShare is doing with that information. We have the event ID. Let's see the event information we got from McAfee ESM. Most of the fields are empty, but we do have a source IP. And here it is, parsed in Yahoo's logs. Now we even have a ticket ID, which we'll check later and McAfee accepts our acknowledgement. So now before we finish, let's review the ticket in McAfee. In ServiceNow, we can see that the ticket was opened with all the information we asked for. And in McAfee, we can see that the alarm has disappeared. This concludes our McAfee SIM integration demo. For further information, please contact our support team or visit our website at www.ayahu.com.